In this video, I'm going to show you the legendary bounty in Red Dead Online this week that launched on the 29th of October 2019. The target this week is Tobin Winfield, a corrupt politician. To begin the mission to catch him, you need to go to your nearest bounty board in Free Rome to find the bounty poster. This poster states, Wanted, thief and politician Tobin Winfield. He is to be returned dead or alive. Sought for larceny and misappropriation of public funds. While entrusted as mayor, he embezzled public monies for a number of years. Reward paid for a capture of Winfield dead or alive and return of stolen goods and monies. Cited in Thieves Landing. After you select this poster, as usual, you'll then see a cutscene detailing your bounty target. You'll spawn into Thieves Land in the last known location of Tobin, and as you approach, you'll notice that there are various clues dotted around the area. Now, my advice with these bounties is not to bother wasting your time with the clues because you can just run around and eventually find them that way, and it's a lot quicker to do it that way. In my instance, I found him in the little camp area in Thieves Landing, and I'm sure this is where he'll be for the most part, but if he isn't, then just quickly ride around Thieves Landing. It'll be a lot quicker just riding around and looking for him than looking at the clues. After he pops out, he explains that you shouldn't kill him, and they'll give you the deeds in exchange for protecting him. At this point, call your horse and you'll ride alongside him while he takes you to the deeds that he's got hidden under a rock. And yes, it does look cooler if you just hold X and go in cinematic mode to get some cooler shots, especially if you're making a YouTube video. But if you do decide to do this, make sure you can actually handle your horse when you're in cinematic mode. I'm sure you've got a little bit more elegance than what I've got here on this bridge. As you ride along, he'll be chatting to you and eventually you will come across an ambush. So my advice to you as you're riding along is to make sure you've got your weapon out at all times. And if you decide to fight against these NPCs on horseback, then make sure you've got the horseman ability card equipped. My recommendation here though is to jump off your horse and use the rocks here as cover. In my playthrough of this mission, I opted for a Lancaster repeater as my main weapon, occasionally switching to dual wield sawn off shotguns. The reason I went for the Lancaster here is just because I wanted the extra ammo capacity and also because I wanted to give it a bit of a run out because I've been using the bolt action rifle quite a lot recently. If you aren't interested in reloading it a lot, then obviously you can go for the Evans repeater and just put some special ammo in there. For some reason, I did find it quite difficult to land my shots in this mission. I think it's because the NPCs are constantly moving in this one. So the decent ammo capacity on the Lancaster was definitely helpful, but I suppose the Evans would have been even more so. Be wary also that the enemies come from any direction as well. So where you need to rotate around these rocks for cover against them. Then after you've taken them out, you go on another very, very short ride with Winfield up the hill to where he's kept the deeds. Of course, it's up to you in this situation if you want to loot the bodies as well. Of course, NPC bodies now often carry collectibles as well. So you can potentially benefit your collector role as well as the bounty hunter role on this one. So as you get up to where he's hidden the deeds, another ambush will take place and the same rules apply. There's a big rock here that you can use for cover and all the enemies do come from all directions around you. So be wary of that. Now, after you've taken these guys out, you can loot them if you fancy it or you can just grab the deeds from under the rock. Now, after you've got this, Winfield asks if he can not be tied up and whether he can ride alongside you into Blackwater where he'll then be arrested. So as I thought this was part of the mission, I thought it was obviously a little bit different from just tying up every single bounty that I've had in the past. I thought, yeah, go on then. I'll let you ride alongside me. Now it was in my mind at the time that he might try and escape while we were riding back, but for some reason I suppressed this feeling and again went into cinematic mode. Lo and behold, he does try and escape and he brings a load of mates along with him as well that you've got to try and fight off too. So my advice is rewind back to where he asks to be not tied up, ignore the chubby little fucker and tie him up. Now, regardless of which option you go for, whether you decide to tie him up or let him ride along with you, which I do not advise, his mates will turn up and they will try and kill you. So be wary of that. While he was trying to escape from me, I decided that I'd opt for taking out his means of transport and killing his horse. Very cruel of me, I know. But that didn't work either because I accidentally shot him and he later died. I made some very bad decisions during this bounty this week. But hopefully I've made those bad decisions so that you don't have to. You can learn from my mistakes. So after you've got him tied up on the back of your horse or maybe dead on the back of your horse, take him back into Blackwater fighting off the NPCs as you go. Take him to the yellow marker and there you go. That is your bounty for this week. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more like this in the future. I recently stepped firmly out of my comfort zone and did a very long form video. Well, very long form for me anyway, along with Pineapple and Hazard in which we talk about some new roles that we could potentially see in the future of Red Dead Online. If that conversation podcast style video is something that you're interested in, then click the video on screen now. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm James Cookie. Cheers.